When the doors were open, the response was more like the January sales. But instead of cut price crockery, it was armfuls of compact discs. This woman buying 40 copies to take back to her friends and family in Brunei. Everybody's crazy about this, you know. They've been listening and uh, I mean, the, seeing the TV after the princess died. I just like her work and my kids actually kicked me out of bed today to go and look for it. Most will now look in vain. As major shops across the country now sold out, this the last CD to go at the Virgin store in Birmingham. New stocks are expected by Monday. We won't know officially until tomorrow afternoon where the candle in the wind has reached the top position in the charts. Some stores have already reported problems with supplies. But with buying going on by the handful, few doubt it will reach the top spot. With the record expected to break records, music specialists believe the song will become a litmus test of national and international sentiment. I think that this disc has become the product which is the symbol of the nation's grief. Prior to this, it was the flowers that we saw outside both the palaces. Now, this will be the barometer of the nation's mood. With the song now on sale as a lasting memorial, the temporary symbols of grief continue to be dispersed. Here off Felixstowe, local blooms finally laid to rest at sea. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News. The late news tonight is at half past ten. Thank <laughs> you.